how to create a kdp book cover in canva hey guys welcome back in this video i'll show you guys how you can create amazing amazon ebooks simply by creating them on canva and letting amazon handle all of the shipping for you so the shipping printing all of that can be super difficult and with amazon kdp you can easily design books without having to do any of that i'll show you guys an example and if i search for journal on amazon i'll show you guys a few different examples of things that are actually just designed on amazon kdp and they are just being sold like this one one minute gratitude journal this is an example and you can easily recreate or build your own journals like this this will be printed by amazon this actually does not have like a physical version it is just designed online and then whenever someone orders it then the people at amazon print it out and ship it to you you will see all the internal pages as well for this now you can create a coloring book a mindful journal a gratitude journal a daily journal it really depends on the niche that you're targeting this does the best with a female audience in their mid-20s that's like the audience or early teens that is where you want to target your audience so we're going to be building a journal as well and i'll show you guys exactly how to do that the first step is to go into Google and search for Amazon KDP template calculator. So once you go into Amazon KDP template calculator, click on the first link over here. Now, once you get the first link, you're going to select your binding type. So if you want this to be hardcover or paperback, then the interior, which I am going to be selecting as standard color, the paper type and the reading direction, which is going to be left to right. Then your measurement units and then your trim size so the trim size basically means what is the size you want for your book on canva now usually you want to go with something very standardized like six by nine or a4 paper size you can easily search for the a4 paper size in inches and choose that for your size so it's 8.25 into 11 where you're going to find that over here yeah, so it's over here where it says into 8.25 or 8.27 into 11.69. So I'm going to go with this size over here or yeah, I think I'm going to go with this size because it is the closest to our actual uh, size that we want. And then I will set 50 pages because I want this journal to be only 50 pages. Then I can just click on calculate dimensions and this will calculate the dimensions for us. Once completed, the next step you have to do is click on download template on the left panel. Now, this template is used for you to actually create your book cover on Amazon. This is the most time consuming part. So just open this up in the downloaded file and you will have a PDF as well as a PNG version of this. Now it's time to go into Canva and you're going to click on custom size on the top right. Once you click on custom size, go into inches instead of pixels. Then over here, you're going to find this section called full cover. So just copy the width and height from here. So the reason for this is because whenever you are doing direct widths and heights, that means that you're not going to be able to account for the printing bleeds, which means that things that are printed on the sides get cut off. By that, if I was to break it down even simply, if I design something for the front page like this, you will see that this gray section over here, these are sections where my designs can actually end up getting cut when they're being printed. So that is why we use this KDP cover calculator to calculate the size that we should build our cover for our Amazon KDP books. So once we have input the width, the height usually is the same. You just add 0.25 into the height. So our original height was 11.6, uh, around 11.6, and now it's 11.94. And you're just going to insert these dimensions into Canva, then click on create new design. Now, once you click on create new design, it's time to start designing but before that click on uploads on the left click on upload file and then you're going to upload this png that you just got from the amazon kdp cover calculator this is honestly the most time consuming step but it 
is going to be really worthwhile once you have completed it. Now, once you place this design, it should fit perfectly into your canvas. And the reason for this is because you're going to see these red lines. These red lines indicate whether your design is going to be cut on the edges so you don't accidentally, you know, place a design that's so big that it ends up getting cut. Once you have done that, we're going to click on our transparency on the top and then reduce that to around 50%, 60%, then lock it into position. Once completed, you're going to go into elements and start designing. So the first thing I like to do is I like to search for background and there are a lot of graphics and photos available. You can really design this however you like. I will be building a simple self-help book, so I'm going to keep it pretty minimalistic. I'll first off go with this one, this one design over here. And I think I'm just going to duplicate this and paste it on the other side. So I'm going to do command C and then command V and then click on flip, flip it horizontally. And this will make a perfect shape for us. And once completed, I'm going to make sure they're both fitting like so. Then once I've done that, I will click on both of these, click on these three dots, click on layer, and then I'll click on send to back. So now I can again see my template. Now for our title, I'll go into text on the left and you can use one of these font combinations or create your own font combo. I'll use one of the pre-existing ones like this one, self help, or let's say this is going to be a, I think I'll use a different type of font combo. This isn't matching with the style I like. So I think I'm going to be using this one over here this is going to be a wellness. And then on the bottom, we're going to write wellness. And then below that, we have journal like this. Now to place it at the center of our page, we can actually see over here. This is going to be our front page section. So you want to make sure it's centered over here. And then after that, you can proceed with the rest of your styling. Now to make it easier for you to know whether or not your text is centered, Make sure to expand the text till the edges on both sides. And then once you click on the text, click on alignment and choose the center alignment like this. And now you will know that your text is centered. Now, once you've completed this, you can add the rest of your design elements. For me, I'm going to keep it simple. Now, how can you remove the background image? Simply do a right click and unlock your images from here. Then click on these three dots and then click on layer, click on show all layers. And then you are going to go into this layer where it shows you your template. Click on it and then click on delete. And now this is going to be the book cover for our journal on Amazon KDP. Click on share on the top right and click on download and download this as a PDF print. Now, once you have completed that, it's time to design your internal pages. Now, internal pages are going to be really simple to design. Simply go into your safe area. It's 8.1. Uh, I'll just do 8.1 and 11.4. So go into custom size and then add 8.4. Uh, it is 11.4, 8.1. I was going to mess those up a little, but 8.1 and 11.4. Then click on create new design. And from here, you can get started with designing the internal pages. Now, for inspo for internal pages, you can easily add something like my what i am grateful for what i am grateful for today and i'll just make all the text the same like this and then i will place this over here then i can just command t and command v and then my daily act of kindness and then i'll just place these at the bottom a little like this click on body text and then you're going to add date and then I can place this on the top so people can write what date that they wrote this on. Then to make this a bit more interesting to look at, go with your original background and then just crop it to only the second section over here. And then go into transparency and again, reduce the transparency so people can write over it. And you can do pretty much the same thing for the top section over here. And then go into shapes and then add take a simple line and then just expand that line over here 
like so and then choose the angle of the line simply by clicking on the line and you can choose how you want to place this line obviously for canva lines if they are doing this simply select it and then place it over here select it from one edge to the next then choose the color by going into the color on the top left and choose a dark gray color don't go with a solid black just go with a really dark gray and then you can add a couple of lines simply by doing command c and command v and then place them like this once you've designed one page simply click on duplicate page and duplicate this 10 times once you've duplicated this 10 times like so click on share and share this as a pdf print by clicking on download and then going into download now this will be 10 of your internal pages once you have 10 of your internal pages ready you can just go into any pdf merger and merge this pdf 10 times together and you will have a total of 100 pages so in this way you can create your own books and journals for amazon kdp on canva i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure to leave a like and subscribe